yeah. I know you viewers have been waiting for this one for a long time. Before we start this episode, allow me to start by saying none of you would ever expect there to be a Frasier video game. That's right, I'm not joking. Those who are a bit of the older side of things, it was a sitcom starring the infamously brilliant yet funny, which is not supposed to be a yet, Kelsey Grammer, who starred in a sitcom about some, I, well, I think he was a therapist or something. I, I can't really remember right now. Yeah, I think it was a therapist, whatever. But apparently he was a therapist who had a hotline or something in radio and was helping all sorts of people in the big, impressive city of Seattle. I gotta go over there, huh? Okay, cool. Now, no, none of you viewers are like, should we, well, humor me this. None of you would think they would make a popular sitcom into a popular Game Boy Color game. Oh, right, I forgot about Carmelina right there. Now, if you're curious about it, I will, of course, leave a link to everything on the video. You'll probably find it quicker on Discord. Yeah, I can't do this. Uh, I can't have it. Thank you, Murray. Uh, I'll, I'll take over there. Hello, my lovely connoisseurs of the culture. Boom. Okay, I don't want another repeat of getting shot, uh, struck by the train again. That's rather loud. That's a loud train. Must be like just over. Oh, that's why. All right, that's enough. Now, like I was uh, having Murray say, welcome, welcome by all. But yeah, I bet none of you guys would expect there to be a Game Boy Color game in the style of a JRPG based off uh, a sitcom called Frasier Fantasy. I will not take credit for this because this was something that was random. I got a bit like, what I love about the internet sometimes is that they'll just come up with random nuggets that you never asked for. And I know a lot of you viewers are like, what the heck is Frasier? So humor me, it was an old sitcom that came on like the 90s or something. I don't remember when it started. I don't remember watching it like when it came out because I wasn't even, I don't think I was a thought at that point. But when I was younger, it used to come on like Nick at Night and uh i think it was like a night right yeah and i remember watching the show a little bit and my folks were like wow these likes this because it's a very smart show it's definitely smart humor it's not just normal whatever sitcom humor or toilet humor or anything like that it's a very educatedly smart show and i like it great i don't remember it well but i do remember the theme song and i remember some bits and pieces and i remember liking some of the cast so this is clearly a bit for the older crowd of people unless you're young blood and you understand as well but yeah, I'm not kidding. Some brilliant person out there decided to make, I don't think it's real, but it's like a video of like Frasier, but in an RPG form called Frasier Fantasy. It's so wild that I, I had a link. So whether you decide to watch this video and then check it out then or pause and watch it now, I'll leave the link in my Discord as well as I'll try to leave a link for it on um on the description of the YouTube video. But yeah, viewers, you, you needed that. Also, I realized I've been so into this, I didn't even do the usual recap thing, huh? I guess I should, uh... Well, you know what, Murray, we don't want to break a bad thing because we haven't had you playable in a long time. So uh, here, I'll give it back to you. Thank you, Vitamin. For those who remember what happened last time, my little buddy Bentley and my furry friend, Sly, started doing more missions handling more trains and whatnot. But of course, we have different issues now that Carmelita's somewhere. Actually, I don't know where she is, but that won't stop me in my endeavors to get the clockwork. What is it I'm going for again, Bodman? Uh, I think we got the lungs, so is it the, the pancreas? Is it the, the clockwork pancreas? No, it's not. I'm pretty sure it is. You get that the move, can't you? Yeah, you can, but I'm pretty sure it's the pancreas. Also, watch out for the train. You need your warning. Yeah. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll break it. I'll tear that fence apart. A metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscles. So for this Meat job, flies cane. we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. Love of a mother or her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the it's, it's funny. See, I'm actually a uh, female and I gave birth. If you put that together inside that fence, they'd surely start a 
start fighting. There's What's that the sound? Are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble. Wow, what is that sound? Is that the Binocucom doing that? Oh, it's it's stuck in a zooming you. animation. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence, no problem. All right, I'm, I kind of paid attention That's a little right. bit, but am I about to go cubs, kidnapping? You are hunted by the Murray. Wow, that was annoying. So I gotta go kidnap some bear, some bear cubs for the mother to go break the thing because apparently the Murray isn't strong enough to break some simple, feeble iron bars. I call horse crap on that. Everyone knows the Murray is so powerful. He's the reason why a lot of things happen. Think about it. The mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, the reason why the Grand Canyon what it is, the Illuminati, all of it connects to the Murray. I'm telling you, we've only been able to see maybe three to 4% of the Murray's power. I guarantee you, you may not be able to handle five. See, that guy that normally took like seven or eight hits from Sly and Bentley got knocked out at one. You know why? Hashtag, the Murray. So am I supposed to just... Don't squirm. Where's the big bear? Whoops. Sorry. Ow. Oh. oh, great. Now I gotta do a Carmelita. Ugh, this is not worth it. You're on your own, losers. I do need to get that bear. Whoa! Gotta go here! Ah! Oh, wow, this is a lot of damage. This is a bad situation. I gotta get out of here. This is not worth dying. Nope. It's not worth dying for. Run, Murray! Did I get away? Wow. The Murray got away? See? Like I said, the Murray's power knows no limits. I'm serious, by the end of this playthrough, if you viewers don't go spamming my comment section with the Murray or things like that, I'm clearly not doing enough job of entertaining, uh, entertaining you guys. And if so, then please tell me, how can I make it so you guys can just swarm my comment section with the Murray? Ugh. Need the help. Gotta go capture the other bear. Ugh, that was such a bad display of... What happened here? What happened? Where'd all this money come from? Yo, Carmelita's on a ring. Is Carmelita shooting the bear? Yo, that's... that's peter has gotta be on you for sure. Carmelita just shot that bear. I don't know if you viewers saw that. That's unbelievable. And I gotta sneak past her. It's okay. The Murray can handle anything. Get down, stupid. I'll deal with you right now. Where'd the bear go? Time to go! Oh, camera! Alright, so I didn't fully pay attention. This enemy just came out of nowhere. Stop squirming. Oh, I gotta get the other bears. Wham! Wham! Thunderfly! Oh. Hmm. Well, I tried to do the thunderflop on that thing, and, uh... I died. Sorry, Murray. Please do. Where is it? Oh, that's so far away. Ugh. The, I hate the fact that the Murray has to hold back because we all know the Murray's so fast. He could just snap his fingers. Like, he could basically be like uh, Jason from uh, the horror movies. Yeah, I can. Murray doesn't need. Careful. I'm that great. Gotta go. Uh-oh. Uh, I think he saw me. Or she. Whee! 
<laughs> go, Murray. Go. They're behind me. I can hear it. Uh, there we go. Run. Well, that was fast. The mother is already on her way. Yeah, she was behind me. Oh. Well, that was beautiful. Just like a nature documentary. Only more violent. <laughs> Just like a nature documentary. Well, that was short. I kind of feel upset the fact that that mission was so short. Every other mission with Sly and Bentley was longer. Oh, come on, Murray. Where's your longer missions? Okay, guys, this oh, is Oh, well, it's the end of this. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Stomach. That's now, what I'm going for. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new hand car. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. Ugh. I've planned this as a textbook trade robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? Why'd you say it? Why, why'd you say it? You already know it never works out. When, when everyone... Ugh. Every time someone says, what could possibly go wrong, it always ends badly. Also, who's starting this? Uri starting this? Hold on, let me get some coins for the road. Why is Murray starting this? Oh, probably because he's the one doing the handcart. Well, might as well get some more money. If this is the end of the mission, might as well get some funds, because odds are that means the next area's, like, things are going to be ridiculous. So I'm just going to farm a little extra cash. You know, of course, because instead of me being smarter and just selling my items, oh, I got knocked down really far. Get back down there. Thanks. Who else detected me? Who else detected me? Where's all the loot? Oh, hey. Sorry. Where's all the loot enemies? Everyone's just got, like, the generic coins. Who's all... Where's all the flashy guys? You flashy? You got something? No! Like, all these guys are broke! What's going on? I know, somebody's like, why don't you just finish the mission? I'm just trying to get some extra coins, because I know the next area is probably going to have, like, more expensive power-ups. So I figured if I get some more coins now, I don't have to worry about selling all my items. Then again, I could always just, like, eh, I guess I'll always just explore that newer area. Which is a good point. Oh. Well, let me sneak past this guy and, uh, get rid of it. Oh, and of course you have loot. Eh, oh, well. I also get one more for the road. Can we... Actually, he's wearing something. So, I'm curious about this, viewers. Uh, I was going to talk about some snowy-based circumstance this uh, episode. But he's wearing, like, these little, like, snowshoe things. Is that a real thing? I remember when I had snow back when I was younger. And, you know, with the East Coast, not where I'm at in the West Coast. Uh... Whee! Train coming? Okay. Uh, I remember, like, when I had to go through, like, to school and snow, there was a lot of, like, snowy areas. Oh, viewers, there was this one spot in, uh, back in Teaneck, New Jersey, where it was so snowy, uh, that even despite me having these really thick, heavy boots, it was not enough. I think he's got loot. Does he have loot? No, he doesn't have loot. All right, waste my time. Uh, I remember there was a specific patch, uh, of land. It was, like, a little, like, field area, like, kind of like a school field, like a football field, and I remember, like... For whatever reason, the snow was like really, really thick there, but it was also like very, very loose. So I would always make the mistake of like using the school as a short, uh, the path as a shortcut. Whee! Thanks. Uh, in order to like get to school faster, but I always like fall in this exact like same area. Not around like the center, but it was always the point where I was just like, whoa, where I would just like fall in. Oh, it was so annoying. But the reason I bring this up is because I saw that guy, like, for example, this guy here. That I'm running up to. This guy, like, he has these, like, tennis racket things. Here, enjoy the train. He has these tennis racket, or he had, rather, those tennis racket things, right? So, do people actually wear that to, like, help them stay out from the snow? I'm curious, because I've never actually seen that IRL, despite being in snowy areas. Oh, thanks. Uh, despite being in snowy areas, I've never seen that kind of thing before. Under flop. Let's do this. Hop aboard, guys. We've got a train to catch. With the power of the Murray, we'll easily catch up to that train. I'm not gonna have to like smash anything, am I? Yes, I am. 
All right, no, I am. All right. Oh, never mind. Murray's just that good. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the Murray's strength knows no limit. Yep. You're on, Sly. Break into that. It's also nice because you're finally losing some of that excess weight. That what do you mean, excess weight? Guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the stomach and lungs. It still creeps me out. Ugh. We'll get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speeds. Good point. With the power it's of the Murray. All right, let's do this. So I'm doing this as Sly first, or am I doing this Bentley first? I'm a Sly. Okay, let's do this. Are they behind? Yeah, they're still behind. Oh, well. I'm surprised, like this, you gotta really, no, we gotta think about it for a second. Actually, no, I'm gonna gotta watch it. We gotta think about it for a second. This train's going gosh knows how long, how fast, or gosh knows how fast. Murray is using a hand, like he's doing it himself with his own muscles to keep up with a train, a moving train, which is powered by some, like, powerful mechanical robotic bird thing. You gotta think, like, Murray, excuse me, the Murray is kind of no joke. All right, let's just take a second to just like give a give a standing ovation to the Murray. Good job, Murray. Don't uh don't slack off now. Murray. All right, all right, jeez. Hmm. Oh, that's why they have this here. Yeah, but I can't get rid of that guy. Yeah, I can. Got no loot? Seriously? You broke loser. Any money? Why is the camera going like this? Why is the camera going like this? There's no coins in this stuff? Ugh, well, I'm still gonna destroy it, because now freaking John Basson doesn't afford to have splurge on better things here. Whoa. Uh, oh. I don't like this, like, first person view kind of thing. I dig it a lot. Um, let's go this way. The, the, no, that's way back. I kind of like this like first person view kind of thing. I don't know. It's it's something I never expected. Also, my cane isn't really as uh, large as I thought it was. It kind of looks a little smaller from up close, huh? Easy peasy. Oh. Ain't nobody getting past me. That there clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse dreams. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I'd well, kill him like a spot of night. not necessarily all snowmen survive in winter. I mean, there's some spot like here down south in, uh, in the west coast. We have our winter time coming up. It's going to be blazing hot. Ain't snowman going to be surviving here. Also, I like how I'm not moving at all, and Sly is still doing this. Man, that's gonna be a pain to fight. Oh, I don't have to fight him. I have to fight him. I already know I am. But the question is who? Hope it's the Murray. Oh, freaking. Is that Neela? I saw the hands. Yep. Oh, you're becoming a pain. Oh, why are all the hot ones exciting. evil? Ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping. Maybe I'm good. Show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Well, Neela's got I mean, down. yeah, Any that's exactly what I do. I've already launched the RC. <laughs> it looks like Bentley's face. Get out of the way! In blazes. It's Graham! Alright, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. Let's do this. Fly with analog. How do I fire? Please don't let that be the rotator coupling. Oh, I didn't know I took damage or something. Whoa, it's fast. Oh, snap! Did not see it. I'm playing a Toho game. Oh! Wow, that does crazy rage! Holy moly! I was not paying attention. Oh, 
Not paying attention again. Got it. Language. That was some fancy. Eh, she'll be little probably thing. fine. Whatever you say, Poodle. Hey, hey. The last person to call me Poodle? Prepared in snow. Don't call me Poodle. Only ladies get to call me Poodle. Wow, I can't handle the power of the Murray, huh? Alright, I'm on it. What the frick? Whoa! Yo, these rats with wings? Gah! That was annoying. Hmm. Wait a minute. What's my thing? Music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. Ow. I pressed the wrong button. Can't see. Camera's so good. Okay. I was trying to see the whole time, and I could because this camera's awesome. Uh, let's see. Do this. Ah, oh, man, I took way more damage than I Oh, well, I got one. Uh oh. Hmm, well, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. This will. Night! No loot, huh? Whee! Now I need help. Need more of that, please. No, nothing? Really? Ugh, well, right. I mean, I'll take the coins. Why is there so much... Great... Juice? What is this stuff? Explodes purple. It kind of reminds me of Dark Eco. Shout out to those who've watched my Jack and Daxter playthrough. Whoa. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Uh... Oh, I see. Oh. Ooh, seriously, Sly, you are a bold one. This, right here, like, I know I'm afraid of heights, but this, this is next level. Let's just, let's just take a second, like, just think about it. All it takes is one bump. It'd be the end. Ugh, that's a horrifying thought, I know it. Uh-oh. Boy. Don't notice me. Okay, phew. Break all these. Odds are there's gotta be some health in some of these. I mean, I'll take coins too, but... I, yeah, that's what I want. One of these, please. Also, uh, for anyone on Twitch, just let me know. Uh, I'm trying uh, different things with OBS. I'm trying to improve the video quality. I realize I've been having this weird issue where some of my videos fall, uh, feel like they come off a little slower. So, uh, I'm gonna be using you guys to, like, help me figure this out as well. I'm practicing as well, but, you know, it's always nice to get some feedback. Hmm. There's a, there's a smarter way to handle this. Uh oh. That wasn't it. There's a smart way to handle it. Yeah, see? Smarter way to handle it. Whee! I bet none of y'all... Well, uh, some of you probably saw that I was going to do that. This music pack's kind of awesome. Oh, there's the stomach. That's way easier than I thought, which means it's probably not going to go the way I want it to. And the things break. I'm probably not going to come back here, so... Oops, broke the controls. Eh, I'm sure it's fine. Never thought I'd see the day when his stomach got turned into a tool of evil. Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Well, that's How are we gonna do that? We'll do. A well placed bomb down the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Well, do I have a bomb? So fast. Oh no. You're back? I mean, you have to do a lot of work to get the rest of them. Why are you still back? Oh, oh, oh man, I can't shoot these little missile things, huh? Yeah, 
know, I'm just gonna keep dropping bombs. Oh, what? Why'd you stop? Come back up here. There you are. I can max faster than you shoot. Okay, except for when I do dumb things like that. There we go. Yes, I will. Did you blow up already? Also, I'm surprised John Basson didn't hear any of this, but whatever. Wee! Wait, did you blow up your RC? Fly. You okay? <laughs> I'm good. What happened to my hands? Ugh. I've got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm surprised that worked so well. I thought for sure we had to fight John Basson. Sweet! Let's bolt. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. He didn't even notice. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. As we should. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops, which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, eh, what if they she's replaced fine. Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's, to shoot she's us. a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name, some way other than turning myself in. Really? Because I have a funny feeling all she cares about is turning yourself, like turning you in, so that way she can. I'm surprised we dealt with John Basson so easily. Like, we didn't do it. Wait, hold on. I gotta try this. Please let me get an actual, like, cutscene thingy, like the stamp thing. On. No square thingy. No? Okay, great. The game's gonna make me look I'm all confused. Well, you know what? I'll take it. Cause that was really good. I, I'm really surprised I was able to handle John Basson. I thought for sure I would have to deal with him. But I guess it was just Mila, who's... Uh, I guess you always gotta be careful. Man, I feel bad. Like, episode one and two, I was like, oh, God. I love her voice, she's awesome, and then, and then this happened. Oh, who am I kidding? I already knew it was gonna happen at some point. Well, I have no clue where we're going, but it looks like we're dealing with old Birdbeak here in episode seven. Menace in the North, eh? Wait, what? You again? Wait. Oh, I guess we are gonna deal with John Passant. Then who the, what's the point of this bird dude? Whatever, uh, clearly that took very little time to do, so we're just gonna go right to it. So, Menace in the North, eh? Don't ask me to do a Canadian impression. I need to work on it. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds. Ow. And the Northern Lights, well, they just weren't right. What? One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Bassan and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. Back to By Canada. simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised oh. Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. Oh, there we go. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Besson can clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Oh, great. Honest thing. Oh. Whoa. Those talons have got to go. Yeah. Both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. Please watch the bomb. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. I do like that picture, but you're gonna throw the bomb, right? Like anywhere else? Yeah, of course I am. Fly Cooper, the gang in. Eh, hey, uh, medicine for, for uh, medicine from the north, eh? Yeah, that was my attempt. So, I forgot about that bird beak, but I guess we're going to be dealing with both of them, and I already know he's going to be a pain at... What the heck is that red in the sky? Oh, they said the lights were weird. Alright, well, what uh, new skills we got this time around? Uh, reduction bomb. Shrink enemies in the area. Oh, okay, that's even better than the normal, like, clubbing thing. Guttural war, terrify your foes, and then thief reflexes. Slow time to a crawl. <laughs> Uh, now we're starting to get the really good ones, huh? Alright, do I have any spare loot? I do not want to sell anything that I have more than one, uh, 
that I only have one of. If I have more than one of something, I will sell it. But if I don't, which I don't, then you already know what happened, viewers. We're going to have to farm some money because I'm, I want to keep these. Granted, I know I didn't do it right the first time, but it's a personal thing for me. Well, you already knew how we're going to do it. Might as well map out the area, get some coins, and figure out the supply to sly. Okay, so here's what we know. One, our it's cold out here. On and two, it's really cold out home. here. And two... The only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But clockwork brain, huh? we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talents off John Besson. Time is short, and we've got a lot to accomplish. Yeah, we do. True, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. Yeah, 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 take Copy. photos. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button. It's always the circle button. Jump and hit the circle button. I swear, this game would be a thing if you couldn't press the circle button. Alright, so that's where I need to go to recon the sawmill. But you and I already know, viewers, that we're going to go around and see if we can find these things. Somebody's car is blocking like crazy outside. Well, whoa! Oh. I am so surprised I didn't fall in these bear traps. Yoink! Alright, time to go find 29 more clues. As well as map out the area of this thing. And here I thought, oh yeah, we took down Jean, uh, we dealt with this without fighting Jean Passant. Of course we're going to have to fight Jean Passant at some point. Hear it. There it is. Oh. Alright, now the problem is, well, I guess actually it's less a problem, more of a good solution. We can explore the area, get some coins, there's more bears here, of course there is. I just saw that bear just wreck house of that duck holy moly oh gosh nature's so crazy actually you know what viewers no 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 uh i need to talk about this i know i was said i was gonna talk about a cold thing but no that's gotta wait uh i saw a video there's no particular reason i didn't look it up it was one of those things where it was just randomly selected because i guess at some point uh youtube was like oh yeah you want to check it okay so here's the context i think the reason being is because I searched for Google and I searched for YouTube clips to see if the Berenstein Bears wore shoes. I know, somebody out there is like, really? V? It's like, yeah, I, I have a weird brain. They uh, sue me. But, uh, what the heck was that? What is that? Oh, that's that. Okay. So, I, um, ooh, don't come down. Don't look down here. But yeah, I was looking up videos because I was like, do the Berenstein Bears wear shoes? And as I was looking, YouTube decided, well, since you're looking up bears, you want to see, like, two bears go at it? And I know somebody probably is thinking, like, oh, go at it in, like, romantic sense? No, I mean, go at it in a fighting sense. I'm not trying to advocate for this, but nature is just no joke, man. Like, for a, for a boy that's an indoors guy like me, if I were, like, to be out in the wilderness and saw this, I would lose my mind. Like, it was no joke. I feel bad for these bears. Like, it was to the point where they were, like, really hurt, and one of them was, like, bleeding. But this one bear was, like, definitely issuing dominance. I bet money was because of a woman. Like, there's no reason two guys would go at it unless there was sports or women. That's a fact. Guys don't really rumble against each other. Actually, you know what? No. Quote me on this. Guys only fight guys for three reasons. Sports, women, or if uh, somebody has, like, a better car or something. That's a fact. Don't quote me, actually. I changed my mind. But I'm still right on least on some aspect. Turn him up. He's so annoying. But especially the sports and the women aspect. I bet, I bet though, those are the two bigger things uh, that women fight for more. Or women. That men fight for more than anything. But these bears, I don't know if they were up on sports. So it clearly makes me think they were going at it because of a woman. Or man, to be fair, we are in a day and age where some guys like guys, obviously. But I'm pretty sure a female bear was like, Oh, well, I'll only fight them. I'll only go out the winner. These two bears were like, uh-huh. I'm on that. Joke aside, of course. Uh, 
the reason I bring this is because it was just so wild. And the whole biggest takeaway was like, why did YouTube recommend me that? There was no point at any point in my life would I be like, you know what would be cool? If I just saw like two bears like fighting each other. I can't jump up there. Darn it. Like, I really don't know why it did that. I couldn't even tell you why. Is that booby trap loot? Where's home? All right, here we go. Uh, where do I go from here? Where's the home base? Oh, that's so far away. Ooh, gotta go. Can I even make that? Oh, yeah, I can make it. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we made it. Wow, phew. I'm surprised I didn't decide to check out this one spot. This is clearly an obvious hideout, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, like, I don't know why YouTube recommended that. Now I'm scared because if I look up, like, other things... Ugh. If I look up other things... Like, what else is YouTube gonna... Come at me. Phew. How much do I need for deep reflexes? I think I needed 1,600. Well, as I'm going for these, hopefully I'll find them. Ugh. Nothing there. Nothing there. Whoops. You didn't see it. You didn't see it. You didn't see it. You're good. You're good. It's just a girl's outhouse. It's a girl's house. house. Don't see me. I'm surprised I got away with that, viewers. Yoink! Really? A small one? Ugh. Whatever. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay. The part was like, ooh, go in there, V. Alright, please stop goofing off. We need to find these. Oh, that looks bad. Oh, there's one. 22 more to go. Uh, 22 sounds like a lot, but if I focus. I hear one. If I focus, it shouldn't take me too long. Of course, though, I do need more loot on the way. Yoink! Thank you. Wee! Alright, I heard a clue bottle. I think it's up here. Yeah, there they are. Uh-oh. Oh, darn, I want to get back out there. Oh. I don't know what better way I could have handled that. Got anything? No. That Manny? Ice Age? Manny, hey, what's up, bro? Man, you look like you've seen better days. Is that what you got in there? Some sort of plates? Hmm. Kind of fell out of it after Ice Age 19. No, seriously, how many Ice Age movies were there? I think there was three too many. I think there was like four or five. I can't remember. Let's see it. I need to get up there. Ice Age and I don't really have the biggest relationship. I think I remember the first one, and I remember trying to get into the game of the second one, and I was like, eh, this is not worth my time. I don't think I've seen any of the other ones. I know there was one with, like, a dinosaur or something. Oh, yeah, it was, because then they have that really, like, it, so I, I find it awesome, but I know some of my friends call it cheesy, but it was like, what was it? Open the door, get on the floor, everybody do the dinosaur, or something like that. I can't remember the lyrics, but it was something like that, right? i never seen the movie, but I remember that song, hearing that a lot in commercials. I remember, like, singing to it every now and then, and my friends would be like, really? Like, you need to... We need to get you some better culture, V. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm all about the culture. I'm the CEO of the connoisseurs of the culture. Culture isn't just limited to... Ooh. Culture isn't just limited to, uh... The beautiful form that is man and women. Beautiful form comes in many forms. Diamond DGR 2023. Ugh. Oh, there's another clue ball up there, huh? See, I knew I wanted to go up here for some reason. Alright, 11 down. 19 more to go. Who puts a saw right there? These don't notice me. Okay, he's turning around. Nope, good. 
I'm not gonna notice me, right? So come over here. Oh, of course you come over here. You're still picking? Get out of here. Get in the saw. There we go. Ugh, that could have been bitter, but whatever. Okay, let's see. Clue bottles, clue bottles, clue bottles, clue bottles. Don't hear any more jingling, but I do see you got loot. Before you go get yourself killed by that bear, let me at least rob you blind. Alright, let's see if you go fight him. Also, I hear a clue bottle. Ah, uh, you got lucky. That bear's not gonna come for you. Alright, where's that clue bottle? I heard it. That one's to the left of me. Oh, up there. Ah, darn it. Get up there. Well down, 18 more to go. Oh, oh, that was one. Got loot though. Oh, no, you don't have loot. Ugh, darn it, it must have been glow with something else. Whee! You've got loot though. Doink! Yeah, I've never seen a uh, Ice Age 3 or no, seriously, how many Ice Age movies are there? Like, I remember at one point, I think it was a family member that was like, oh, there's too many Ice Age movies. Oh, phew. Okay, that could end better, but whatever. Oh, uh. Why are you turning over here? Oh, okay, there you go. Need some loot you got. Who wants that? Doink! Thank you. I also get this blue ball for the road. Alright, now I gotta go. I gotta go run all the way back to home. Gotta hear another blue bottle. What is it? It sounds very faint. Oh, it's definitely not here. Whatever, might as well run this bad boy home. Oh yeah, I forgot about that coupon up there. The heck? Uh-oh. Oh! Grr. I gotta fight all you chumps! Ow! I forgot about the get-up attacks. Hold on a minute, will ya? Thanks! Ah, oh, the health was right there. That's so disrespectful. Well, at least I got that. Uh, what did I get? Was it a sapphire? At least I got that on the way. Why am I standing in this position? Whoops! Didn't mean to press that button. Uh, yeah. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's what I could have gotten. Wait, how much do I have? Do I have enough? I don't remember. I want to see how much I did. I totally botched that. How much do I need? 1600. Ugh, oh, Alright, ain't happening anytime soon. What the? God, man, these freaking rats with wings! Hold on a second. Go to sleep for a second. I know, right? Priorities. I wanted this ruby. All right, now you can go. Right, now I'll go for you. Oh, you have loot. Nice. Doink. All right. That's a good reason why I should destroy these things. There might be ducks in there. Uh, I can't tell. Is that? That's water, right? Yeah, it's, it looks flowy. All right. No, I'm honestly curious, like, how many Ice Age movies there are. Whoa. Gonna go back over here. Got loot though. Still a sec. Doink. Man, you guys giving me all the book uh, big bucks. Whoops. Oh, I'm surprised I got away with that. Is there any reason to be over there? 
Like, why, right? This is somebody's mission for sure. Fuck! Ah! Messed that jump up. Oh, try that again. I want to imagine Murray doing this. And I'm not gonna lie, this kind of horrifies me, viewers. I, 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 it's may not make sense to some people, but it, it's clearly water, but like the vast openness of this scares me. Because how, who, how deep is that? I'm not even afraid of water, but like, it's just the unknown that kind of freaks me out a little bit. It's not like heights though. I can handle a lot more than heights, but that still freaked me out. Also, I did see that clue bottle over there. I'm just gonna get this guy's loot real quick. This somehow? I bet money this is somebody's mission. And considering how precarious these jumps are, I'm gonna bet dollars to donuts it's gonna be Murray. And think about it, can you imagine Murray trying to make those perilous jumps on this thing? But what is the point of this? Oh, that wasn't enough jump. I'm supposed to go here. Alright. I'm halfway done, too. I wasn't even paying attention to my count. Move all there. Yoink. Alright. Another 12 to go. I see one up there. As well as an enemy in my way. Oh, of course. Ugh, come on, man. And you're coming this way? Seriously? Oh, wait. What am I doing? I gotta have this. I'm closer, dude. Really? Not working. Oh, there it is. Just a uh, wholesale sack, yeah? Whee! How to get up there is a question. I got loot. My attention span is something funny, viewers. Whee! No help, really? Alright, whatever. Hold still a sec. It's making it easier for you to walk around. I mean, everyone knows walking around with fat pockets isn't good for you. But if you trip and knock all that change out, it'd be bad. It'd be embarrassing. Everybody would be making fun of you. You'd be like, oh, look at this loser that spilled all this change. Although, there's something to be said about if I, like, knock you senseless. Because then it would be literally seeing somebody get hit so hard that change falls out. That'd be kind of dope. 19 down. Yeah, I know there's this one up here. I need to figure out how to get up there. I mean, if I was Murray, I could do the super jump. But surely there's a way for Sly to be able to do this. Can I use this to get up there? Oh, I can't interact with these branches. Okay. <laughs> nah, nope. I have to be from super high height and fly down, I guess. Or glide down. Oh, also, speaking of which... Might as well get this back. Okay, now how do I get up there is a question. I have to be from height. Got loot? Yeah, you do. Doink! Of course you do. Whee! I know I should turn in this loot. I know I should. But with that clue ball right there, gah, I can't ignore it. Gotta figure out how I can get that. Can I go from this height? Make it? I don't think I can, but worth a shot. Nope. Hmm. I can't make it. This may not be something that I could do as Sly. I might need the other characters to be able to do it, because I can't make that uh, distance. <laughs> nope. Can't. Okay. I'll have to come back. What was that vibration? That scared me. Our controller vibrated something fierce. It was like something big came out. Don't come this way. Don't come this way. I swear if you come this way. 
Whoops, didn't mean to press the button. Well, whatever, I guess I'm making use of it. Did I kill it? I think I killed him. Whoops. My bad, guy. I was not trying to do that. Also, there's a bear right there, too. Gotta get up here. I should turn in the loot instead, but... Yeah, the clue ball's right here. Oh. Huh. I'm sure I'm easy... Uh, I'm super hidden right this. Despite the fact that my head and tail is sticking out. I know. I go turn in the loot. You be smarter. That way, if I take damage, we're good. Have you know, I hate the fact that I had to run away to do this. Hold on, he's got to loot real quick. I know, I'm getting greedy. Ugh. You get to live, fool. I also think I should have enough to get the thief reflexes with all the spare loot I've been getting. I did get multiple uh, things. Just selling all the spares. There we go. Yeah, I have enough to get uh, Sly's thing. Whoops, wrong button. Right, let's check out this thief reflexes thing. Slow down time to a crawl. Uh, I don't know what gutter roll will be, but we'll see. Let's do it. How's it work? Uh, let's see. What should we do it to, viewers? Um, let's do R2. Oh, I remember this. Oh, it's basically like the like the slow time ability I had back in the uh in Sly One. One difference is now it takes a meter. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh, now we're good. Don't shoot me, bro. Woo! And I did that in slow motion, too. Y'all can't say that wasn't hype. Go ahead, go ahead, clip it. I dare y'all. You're welcome. Okay, now I gotta go find these other flu bottles. Now, like I said, I know where one is. Oh, that scared me. But surely I should be able to get the other. Others, I should say. Oh, yeah, there's one. One up there, too. Can I make that jump? Nope. How do I get up there? Oh, I can just... Oh, I know how to do it. If I avoid the mission, I can just run right around. Plus, I can try this thing that uh, Bentley did to my precious... Precious... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, huh. So, I am gonna get my cane back to normal when I do this, right? Wow, it controls really good. Holy moly. Uh oh. Why are these freaking birds out of nowhere? Go away! I don't want to do the mission, so I'm going to avoid it. I right, get this clue bottle. What? So sick of these things. Like every time I'm anywhere high up, these things just swarm down. And it's worse is that I only see it like so late. I know someone's like, "Wow, you have fast reflexes, V." Barely, barely able to react to these things in time. On oh, this clue bottle up there, I saw it. Come on, got loot too, and I'll wait for you to pass. Come on, guy. Ain't getting any older. Whee! One there, I see another over there. This Dodger's reject goes away. 
you know, if you viewers want some culture, you know, somebody's like, you said you're going to do some culture moments. Here's a culture moment for you. Look up Duck Dodger's Tyranny, spelled, and I'm hopefully I'm spelling this right, T-Y-R, uh, actually, how do you spell that version of Tyranny? Because it's like a Martian language, so it's not spelled like normal Tyranny. I know it's like N-N-E, but is it T-Y-R-A, or T-Y-R apostrophe N-N-E? I don't know how to spell, uh, spell her Martian name. Just look up the Queen of Mars. I don't know how to spell her Martian name, but there's a, there's a culture for y'all. Oh, that scared me, actually. Where are the other seven? Ooh, a little close. Yeah, if y'all want some culture, there you go. I know I just stoked somebody's childhood with that one. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I can guarantee you I'll get you hooked on one specific scene. If I remember correctly. Because it was the one that had Tom Jones, who sang the... the uh, it's not a usual song that everyone only equates because of what's its face from oh hey from a uh, fresh prince thanks because i used to be into a, like a lot of sitcoms uh didn't matter which one uh fresh prince george lopez show uh frazier full house i used to be in a lot of weird sitcom uh, random sitcoms but uh tom jones uh the reason i know him even though he's a great singer to be fair, unfortunately, I didn't know him except for the Carlton dance. Can't remember that actor's name for the life of me right now. Well, I know his, I think his first name is Alfonso, but I don't remember his last name, which sucks. Usually I should remember a lot of people, but eh, I guess my memory is just sucking. Anyhow, uh, Tom, oh, hey, Tom Jones did the, uh, the song that Carlton dances to. Go away, will you? Oh, hey. I see you to drop by. Oh, my coins! Uh, uh. Anywho, um, the the Carl's dance, and I'm pretty sure if you look it up, you know what I mean. But uh, that episode specifically of Duck Dodgers that I'm trying to reference is, I think it's like a musical uh, episode where some alien queen is like, I will give some prize or something, something important to whoever astounds me. And as you might imagine, Obviously, Duck Dodgers gets involved in it. But, of course, he can't do it anything himself, because he's a duck. He didn't notice that, did you? Okay, cool. Sweet. Because you got loot. I need that. Run it! Yoink! Thank you kindly, good sir. Whoa! That's a bear. Wait, did I... Did I kill the bear? How the flip? Okay, that... somebody... uh... That's a, that's a clip for someone. I, I don't know how I did. I took out the bear. I really am making black holes. Uh-oh. How are you not seeing me? Ow. Hold. Hold still a second, will ya? I'm breaking this game. I'm so breaking this game. Something fierce. Now I don't have the energy to do all my cool stuff. Can you die, please? I need help. Oh, just die already. I didn't even drop any help. Yeah, I'm still being attacked by something? Oh, you over there. Huh. Oh, well, perfect. I need help and energy. Here, a clue bottle. We here, right? Sounds close. Below. Sounds super close. Hmm. Getting closer, warmer? I hear it, but I can't see it. Oh! There we go. Another four to go. Oh, and I made myself back home, huh? Cool. Anyhow, uh, so that Duck Dodger episode, I don't remember what it was, but the reason I know that, phew, was because it's the one where the Martian Queen, I don't know what that song is, but I guarantee you, for any viewer that wants to challenge me, 
What's that rumbling sound? Oh, it was rumbling. I like that. For any viewer that wants to question my taste on the Martian Queen, Tyranny, uh, I dare you. I dare you. And uh, if anybody truly, absolutely truly doesn't like it, for the first person, I'll give them five subs. I'm being dead serious. You need to, like, don't lie to me. Like, look up the the song that she sings, the Martian Queen sings. And I guarantee you, you'll be hooked. No, I don't want to use this song. Oh, well. Forgot the button to cancel it. Alright, well, you both are going to sleep. Not what I wanted, but whatever. Okay, I wonder these other blue bottles. Whoa! Whoops! Okay, press the circle, but alright. Uh, I'm done. I'm toast. I'm gonna run. Oh man, you shot twice? I got out of here. Oh, hey. Sorry. Better you than me. Not coming over here, are they? Yeah, they are. Don't shoot me. Gotta run for safety. Phew. Okay, I need help. Something fierce. Got loot, huh? Uh. uh well. I don't know how to respond to this. Well, I'm not getting those coins. Or am I? Yo, that bear's taking off. Something fierce! Run! Woo! Whoa. Nature is scary. These bears go wild, man. Jeez Louise, I'm surprised I survived this. I need to get some health. You need to drop health for me. Not just because you have loot. Might as well get your loot first, and hopefully you drop health too. Oh man, this has been way more stressful than it should be. Wee! No health? Really? Oh, okay. Well, used to playing games on hard mode anyway. Okay, I need to find these other food bottles. I need to stop slacking off. And again, I don't think I'd be calling myself slacking off. I think I'd be trying to survive. No health, really? Somebody text me? Uh oh. Oh, time to go! Oh, that clue bottle's up there. Still don't know how to get up there. Where are all these enemies going? Dude, where is everybody coming from? See you guys! They're not following me over here, are they? Just hide here for a second. Oh gosh, so stressful. And what's worse, that guy's got loot. He's gonna be toast, but I kind of want to see it. Let me get your loot first before you go get yourself killed. Kind of not worth dying for, but why are you doing it? Still no health. I am honestly surprised by this. Oh, okay. Phew, I was about to say, if I didn't make that jump, I was going to cry. And yes, I know that there's this one clue ball up here, but I don't know how to get to it. Yes! Wait, where'd the other one go? Was there two over there? Oh, whatever. How do I get up here? I need to figure this out now before I forget again. If I go that way, yeah, that might be it. If I go from here. Okay, never mind. There's no way over this way.
Up here. What's up here? I don't even know I could go up here. Huh. There's no clue ball up here. Now I know there's a clue bottle. There. There, there it is. Alright, three more to go. I make this jump. Ugh, I can't get back up there. Ugh. There we go. Now, since I can go up here, I'm wondering if I can use it to get that height I need for that other clue ball over there. I think I can. Oh. What's the clue ball over here? I didn't even notice you. Where to go? I can maybe use this. Like, fly over there. You think I can make it from here? Hopefully. Make it, please. Oh, thank God. Okay, one more clue bottle. Problem is, no clue where it is. And no, nobody better make a pun because I said clue. I make the dumb jokes here, alright? I'm the one trying to entertain. Well, it's somewhere in these spots. Gotta go searching, I guess. I'll wait for this guy to turn around and do it. Where'd it be? I feel like I've explored this place left and right, even though I still feel like I'm getting lost. Thank you. Needed that health, something fierce. You got loot. I will need that because I'm still shy on money. Doink! Ooh, thanks. That looks less like a knuckles and more like one of those, uh, what are those things? Those knuckles that people wear? Got loot? Yeah, you got loot. Hold it, waiting. Hold still, will ya? I'm trying to rob you blind. Doink! Thank you. Alright. Try to keep your ears uh, open. Ugh. You know what I mean. Where's that last blue ball? I'm trying to pay attention. That guy's toast. This dude is toast. I'm just gonna watch. And with words, I'm not gonna be able to get those coins either. Nature is something wild, man. Nature is something wild. I'm not gonna get that coin. Ugh, I tried to. Huh, you didn't notice me. Boink. I'm surprised this dude didn't notice me. Wee! Oh, really? You have loot? Does he have loot? He has loot. I wouldn't care if he didn't, and I know viewers are like, find all the clue bottle! But, money! I guess it kind of says something about myself, huh? Like, oh, we see. We were gonna support V, but all he cares about is just being rich. Yeah, well, I'm trying to be a professional thief here. Being a professional thief doesn't come cheap. I can't get up there. There you go. Seriously, where's this blue bottle? Gotta listen. Not over here. So I can get past this guy. Avoid these giant birds that's gonna come swooping down on me. Hear any jingling? Oh, hey. Thanks. No jingling? No. Hmm. Where's this last clue? Wee! Where are you? I didn't really check, like, the lower... Uh, I'm just gonna adjust my chair. The lower parts of the area, so I could double-check it. 
No, you don't gotta loot. Whatever. Been there. Hmm. Hear an angry jingling. Got loot, huh? Oh, you both have loot. Hang on. Doink. Okay, cool. Go over to the other guy. You get to live. The other one, not so much. Come here. Hold still, will ya? Doink. Any jingling? Nope. Don't hear it. Here. Oh. You notice that, did you? Ugh, we'll turn this way. Where is it? I'm trying to listen closely for it, but I am not having any luck. Maybe what I need is a bird's eye view. Wait, did something twinkle down there? Something twinkle down to the left? Hmm. Probably just snow. And these obnoxiously large bear traps. Seriously, you're not getting that bear with these bear traps. You need like something a little strong. Ugh, you need something from like acne. Come on, man, let me up there. I think I've checked this whole. Well, oh, okay, sorry. Thanks. Hmm. I've been up here yet. Oh, phew. haven't I checked? We wouldn't be over there, right? We wouldn't be on those boats. Crazy enough to check, though. Hmm. Nothing. I don't think it'd be out that far in sea. I don't think they do that. I hope they don't do that, at least. Gotta listen for the jingling. Thanks. Thanks. Seriously? I still can't believe I took out that bear. That is... I, I, I never think that was... I thought that would be possible. He can pass this guy on purpose. Thanks for the coins, though. Whoa. Ooh, that was close. Actually, I don't think it'd be over here. Try to go in circles, I know. Come on, where's the jingles? Yeah, I'm getting loot, which is good, but I also do want to make some progress. Oh, phew. I saw the other guy, I started to sweat. Oh, the other guy also has loot. Me? Doink! Well, wait. Oh, okay. Thought I heard it. Nah, I didn't. Probably this thing I heard. Whoa! Surprised I made that. The only place I haven't checked is. This section. Like, this time I'll go to the right. Is there a reason to be over here? Has to be, right? You put a clue bottle here, yeah, game? Do I want to imagine Murray or Bentley doing this? Well, Murray more than Bentley than this. Nothing. Seriously? Where? This last clue bottle. 
I've not heard one thing of jingling. Well, hmm. I guess I'll just do a mission, and hopefully as I do the mission, I'll find out where the clue ball is. Oh, not again. Oh. Yeah, I can't tell. All right, let's just do the mission. Oh, not again. Ah, hate these things, man. God, these things are so annoying. It's gonna be a thing too. There's gonna be a mission where we're gonna have to scale up some ice wall like this. I have to deal with those things. I bet money. Oh. Hey. Shut up. Thanks though. Right, let's do this. It's good to see my Kate upgrade perform so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance. Let me get off here. Alright, scout the area, huh? I can do that. Also get some food on the way. Surprised Bentley didn't do another like little mini cutscene for it, but eh, I know where I'll take it. Wee! Alright, let's go take some food. Uh, where? There? Can't see me. Go for this far one first. I just want to do that for purpose. There, huh? All right. Drop from height. Hmm. Up here. Wow, I am so surprised you did not see me. You would think, right? First picture coming up. Oh, no duh. Fascinating. My sensors. It seems to have the ability to float on top of the water. It must be piloted by computer. I see. What you see? So apparently, it uses some sort of whoops. Uses some sort of flotation-based capabilities to stay aloft on top of the water. We might have made the discovery of a lifetime sly. Uh, Bentley, it's just a boat. Actually, I know the perfect thing to call it. I will call it the Flotation Master Device 9RX. Or we could just call it a boat. Eh, I like my thing better. Is there another blue thing over this side? There wasn't? Oh, it's over there. Eh, well, it's the only one over there, so. Take a picture of the bear again. Nah, no, right. Hmm. Up there. Yeah. I'm oh, dead. Phew. That's what I needed. Go away, will ya? I'm busy. Thanks. Wanna take a picture of this thing? Easy. Those saw blades look particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. I mean, door. Now we're next. One over there. Next one? Alright. Wait, I am taking a picture of the bear. That wouldn't be the same bear we dealt with in the other area, right? Ah! Nah, what are the odds, right? There's no way it would be.
Oh, hey. What the heck is that sound? Oh, I don't know where those coins came from. Oh, that bear's trying to get me. Uh, get him. Get him, bear. Good bear. Thanks. Stop it. You're going to make the bear come over here. Get him. Thanks. Done. This place is bear country, all right. Interesting. He's Thanks. putting out a slight radio signature. What? A radio signature? A bear? The bear must have ate something it wasn't supposed to eat. Where's the other one? Uh, where is it? Where's Jean Bassan's place? Hold on, let me get high up. I don't see where Jean Bassan's thing is. Oh, it's over there. Oh, man, I've been there a bunch of times. It didn't pop up. Whatever. better not notice me in this thing. Okay. Give me. Doink. I'm just gonna leave and not deal with you and get up here. Where I dealt with this place several times. Alright, can I just take a picture from here? No, I gotta take it from about a different height. I can't believe I've been running around here. I still can't find this other clue bottle. Whee! There we go. Bam. John Besson's house. The lair of the beast. The dead of evil. The epicenter of ecological destruction. Alright. Okay, something of something. Should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse, and try to find a way to sneak in. Okay. As you said nicely. Sorry, I was being quiet on purpose. I was trying to listen in. I'm still trying to listen in to see if I can maybe get lucky and find it. You know what? I got no time for you. I don't even have money. Oh, I was just at this lighthouse, huh? I guess it was for Sly. Really hope it'd be for Murray. Oh, I gotta go in. Oh, that's just narrow enough for me. Perfect. Oh. Yes, I thought I was gonna do it automatically. Never mind. Here I thought the game would throw me a bone. What the heck am I looking at here? What is this? Battery charger? That's the battery charger, but where is the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? I don't know. Oh, is that thing I bet? Ooh, that's quick. Hold on. Got it. Oh, Just well. That spinner makes me dizzy. Close enough. I, I got close enough. I, I'm certain somebody's like, you didn't even get in the shot. I, I got close enough. Are they really cool to get back with a chair? A fragile looking wooden chair? Okay, game. I was right. The entrance is barred from the inside. The chair. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. Oh, nope, only you say so. I do like his new uh, super sharp game he's got going on, though. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. What's he saying? Come on, Jean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye. Honey? I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. 
Although, who might kid me? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. The hubris Head of man. To the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. Bet money Murray's gonna do it. He's the strong one. 90%? Alright. Seriously, I can't find this last freaking clue bottle. Where is it? Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. Nice face. When the Clockwork Talons has a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Oh, damn it. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm Ow. sure it will prove invaluable. <laughs> All right. Now we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. Ow. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. What? Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry rig them into a wait, sensor wait. array. Whoa, well, hold on. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Radio tags from the. They really did tag the bears? Uh, there's a lot going on here. Well, might as well take a viewpoint. Let's see what missions we got going on. We have Murray to do RC Combat Club. We got Sly with Laser Redirection. We got Sly with Bear Cave bugging. Everyone but Bentley, huh? Well, it's nice that, you know, Murray's getting the time to shine. Um, I still have time to vid. I guess I'll do the Bear Cave bugging. Now, nah, let's do Razor the Redirection. I can't believe I can't find this clue bottle. Whoa. Oh, bar Murray, that'd be easy. But at the same time, Murray can't glide. Only Murray can complete. Yeah, I know. I can't believe I can't find this thing. <laughs> I can't believe you couldn't notice me. Oh, two of you guys, huh? And a bear? Well, you're toast. Thanks. I don't know why the coin's coming to me, but I'll take it. Hey, I didn't do it. It was the bear. Right there. That one. Get mad at me. Alright, yeah, let's do laser midirection. Right here, anyway. In I go! Whee! See how bad this sucks. Oh, yeah, I can see why it's Sly. Sly, I've detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. How convenient. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? With bombs. Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. You can also How use I it to de destroy that? John Basson, but be a whatever. Switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. Got it. So I got to use my impressive, super amazing skills to do it. Yeah, I'm sure this won't go bad. All right, let's do it. Eh, this could be something that Murray could do. Whoops! I still that jumps something fierce. Watch your tails. There's a lot of enemies in there.
Yeah, I think Murray could do this. Heck, Bentley, you could have done it too. Hmm. Where am I supposed to go specifically from here? I'm supposed to go over there, I bet, but with all these searchlights. Hello, Bale. Welcome, welcome. How the heck do I pull this off? Gotta think. Gotta think. Well, for starters, that guy's got loot, and I do do want to be some of that. I know it's a dumb idea, but I really wanted to loot. Boink. Nice teeth slide. Oh. Oh, you're sleeping. You're awake. Go to bed. Good running into you a few days ago, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I did try to tune into other streams. Great, and it's usually at night, but I also noticed that, uh, for context, uh, Bay was talking about I caught him on a stream from another streamer called Logan Robo, which I recommend early doing a blind playthrough of Persona uh, 5 Royale. Um, wait, where do I go from here? Yeah, it was good to chat with you. Ugh. Whatever. Well, hey, you know, you should still enjoy yourself, eh? I mean, how many people get to come down for us for a living? Ha <laughs> ha, you all are lucky. Don't ever forget that. The fact that I'm listening to you. I don't know why I'm listening to you. What? What? Doink! The only thing I care about is getting some loot. Later! This was easy. Man, again, slot or er, well, I didn't need to do this. It could have been Bentley or Murray. How exactly is that supposed to help? The laser's been redirected out the window. They also just had a pretty uh few crazy games of Splatoon. That was fun. Oh, Splatoon 3. Ask me this. Fire, Shiver, or Big Man. I'm assuming Splatoon 3. You have to choose one of them. The answer is a big man. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm just kidding. Now to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. It probably hurts like hell, right? It'd probably be like the yo viewers, did you guys hear? Oh, big man, obviously. Yeah, of course. I was about to say. Uh, did you guys hear about the one guy that, uh... Oh, that's convenient. Is there a clue bottle up there? Oh. Did you guys hear about the one guy who, I think he, like, put his head in front of, like, one of those, like, laser things? Like, blasted a part of his face? Oh, gosh. That's something fierce, man. That is next level. I don't know the full context of it. If I find it, I'll remember. Man, it was just gnarly hearing about that. It's something rough to his face, man. Holy moly, I felt bad hearing this. And I wasn't trying to insinuate anything, Bayo, about the whole, like, not choosing Big Man. Because Big Man's obviously the best choice. I'm curious what some of my other viewers are. Viewers, uh, well, mm, I'll save it for maybe a poll in the future. Whoops. Okay, don't know how I did that, but whatever. this thing? Oh, it's over here. What the? Whoa! Okay, that happened. That scared the crap out of me, actually. Seriously, Sly, man, where would we be without your capabilities? Oh! Well, we wouldn't have messed that up. That's the first thing. Get up here. Uh, let me up. Ugh. I have to go all the way up there. Aim. Okay. Let's think this out. 
Will I have to scale that whole entire thing? Yes, because I can't make the jump. Ugh, race. Alright, fine. Uh, Bale says, since you're enjoying this, have you played Metal Gear Solid? I'm also playing through Metal Gear Solid 3. It's pretty enjoyable so far. So, my knowledge of Metal Gear, I know of Metal Gear, but I kid you not, ever played Metal Gear. I, well, actually, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. I played, uh, briefly played Snake Eater, um, because that was what my dad had. Uh, I tried to play, uh oh, don't throw rocks at me. Jerk. I tried to play Guns of the Patriots. Uh, I think I remember how Guns of the Patriots went. But for sure, I played Metal Gear Solid 3, although I don't remember beating it, and I played Rising Revengeance. I never played any other Metal Gear. I, well, actually, no, that's not true. I've also played Peace Walker uh, on my friend's PSP way back when, but never beat it. And to a much lesser degree, because I don't qualify it as a Metal Gear game, I will admit, yes, I did play Metal Gear Survive. Before you guys judge, before you guys judge, let me tell y'all, I didn't play Metal Gear Survive willingly. Well, I mean, I guess technically I did. But it wasn't like, oh, I went on my way to buy Metal Gear Survive. A friend was like, hey, check this out. I was like, oh, what is this? Then after a while, I was like, oh, what is this? But yeah, I would say Metal Gear 3, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, Rising Revengeance, Peace Walker briefly, and Guns of the Patriots briefly are the Metal Gears I played. And out of all them I've beaten, I think all the one that was, was uh, Snake Eater. Uh, Bale says, I hope I can play Metal Gear Solid 4 before too long. Sure. You just gotta get a PS3 and wait 50 million years for that loading to work out. If you know, you know. No, you should be able to. I don't think uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 is too hard a game to access. Really get into more stealth games, actually. Oh, come on. Oh, ads. Sorry. Ain't waiting on that one. Hey, what's up? You want some too? Oh, we got loot. Hold on. Get out here. Wait, you have loot. Get over here. Oh. Ow! Oh, still will. I pulled that off. You can say what you will, viewers. I still pulled it off, because I'm awesome. Where's the next laser thingy? Oh, over there. Listen, how have I not found where that last clue bottle is this whole entire time? Oh, that was close. I should actually, like, get into Metal Gear. I don't even... I remember the only reason I even, like, got into Metal Gear, even briefly, was because my dad. My, my dad used to play Metal Gear a lot, as well as games like Siphon Filter and uh, Splinter Cell and stuff. Me, myself, never really got into those games. Because I was more into, like, the fantasy kind of things. Ads over. Sweet beats. I never really got into those games, like, willingly at first. But it was one of those things where I was like, my dad's playing it, so it must be cool. Seriously, why am I placing so many of these? Just direct in the normal way. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Something's behind me, alright now. What the heck was that sound effect? Something got hit. Whoa! Did y'all see that? Did you see that bear and that guy commit? That's. Wow. Got loot, huh? Hold on, I want loot. Ao says the Master Collection's release a suit. Yeah, yeah. So, refresh me if I'm wrong on this. Uh, but to my knowledge, uh, and any viewers may be able to help me out with this too, but the Metal Gear Collection's coming out for, what, like, most major platforms. Uh, it's supposed to be Metal Gear 1, 2, Sons of Liberty, uh, OG Snake- Oh, Jesus. Well, it is the Halloween season, so I guess if I didn't get scared at least once, then I'm not doing it right, huh? Uh, Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2, Sons of Liberty, uh, I think the Metal Gear Snake Eater, what else is it coming with? I can't really remember what else it comes with. Hold still, will ya? Just hold still a second. Uh, I said hold still a second! Thanks. 
I should. I just need to find a time to do it. It would definitely be interesting as a one visit, at least, to try out Metal Gear. Try my proper experiences, because again, I briefly played. That doesn't mean I actually, like, comfortably play. Oh, hey, what's up? This is a bad idea. I'm just gonna go up here. Screw you, losers! Wow, they didn't see me. They didn't see me up here, did they? No? Okay, cool. Where's that laser? Oh, up there. Oh. Phew. I am so... Go away, man. I know you have loot, but... Go away! Thanks. Where is this thing? Uh, over there. Got it. Got it. I can't believe I gotta do all this redirection just to get this one laser to hit the one specific spot I need. Oh, there we go. Now, one thing I will say, though. Metal Gear will be fun, but it's not gonna be ridiculous like this. It's ridiculous in a different way. Fly just makes nonsense. Whoa! I've never seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. Wait, what? Yoink! Log chopping? Something. Up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. What happened to Manny from Ice Age? He said he went back to the deep freeze. Like, he actually, like, got frozen again? Why am I even surprised? Anyway, let me read uh, what Bale says really quickly. Uh, Bale says, all modern platforms, and yeah, it's the first five games. <clears throat> including a non-canon game with Snake's Revenge. So you can have Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, Sons of Liberty, and Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. The original games, for what he knows, are the original uh, MSX versions, while Metal Gear Solid is the original PSX version. That's OG Metal, uh, PlayStation, by the way. Uh, then you have Metal Gear Solid 2, and Metal Gear Solid 3 is the two HD editions of the games. Then you also have the NES version of Metal Gear. How many Metal Gears are there? I'm legitimately ignorant. Like, I know I said I played those, but if you ask me, granted, I don't know, I might be opening a can of worms here. Because I know the Metal Gear is, uh, Metal Gear series infamous for having one of the most convoluted things of all fiction. This is coming from someone who listened to that, uh, Starbomb song about the simple plot of Metal Gear. But even I know that Metal Gear is just the most craziest nonsense ever. If anyone can give me... And I know I can always, like, just look it up myself, which I probably will, but... What intimidates me of Metal Gear is, am I gonna have to invest time like I did foolishly with Kingdom Hearts? And not to say anything ill of Kingdom Hearts, but I, I, let's be honest, the story... Story. Uh, I did... I could do this mission too. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. Well, first step That's is creepy. Crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. So I'm stealing bears. That's what I'm getting from this. All right, let's see how badly this goes. I'm sure it won't go. It's gonna go terrible. Whoa! Yep, it's gonna go bad. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. <laughs> You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. Well, surely my music box will. I have to. I have to go into their mouth to get. You've got to be kid. All right. Oh, it's like right there. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, and I gotta do it six more times. Okay, open up, please. Thanks. Well, that's one down. I get to that bear. 
make that jump. Ooh, ooh that was close. Uh. What was that? Oh, that's, that's the music. Okay. That actually scared me. I thought that was something waking up. Well, how the heck do I get that one? I have to go from a different angle. Big up, please. Thanks. Okay, how am I gonna figure this one out? Oh, right, right, right. Glad he doesn't notice this. Well, while I, you know, sweat bullets here, I can read what Bayer wrote about the Metal Gear thing. So in timeline order, you have Metal Gear Solid 3, Portal Ops, kind of the story is canon, but it uh, isn't canon, but the information is. Peace Walker, Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes, Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom's Revenge, uh, Metal Gear, Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 4, and then Rising. Though it's not important to the timeline. AKA, even despite me reading this, I'm still confused. Doink. Okay, phew. I really want to, like, understand Metal Gear. Especially because, like, I have a friend that really likes it. And because, well, for context as well, there was a time, a uh, time where I was introducing myself to friends and I was super nervous because I didn't know what to say, so I panicked and I was like, they were like, hey, V, so tell us about yourself. And I was like, oh, well, uh, I'm trying to work on different, like, accents and impressions and stuff. And it's like, oh, really? What can you do? I was like, uh... Uh, I kid you not, I looked around the room. They had a copy of Metal Gear Solid 5, and I was like, I think I could do a snake. It's like, really? Like, snake? I was like, uh, kinda. I mean, it's not hard. All I have to do to pretend to be snake is, and I know you guys don't have, uh, I don't have webcam, but humor me. I just put two fingers to, like, the back of my neck, and I can just talk like this with me, Metal Gear. That's right. The name's Snake. Don't forget the name. See, I was able to, like, do that, but... Ooh, I thought I landed on ice. But, uh, I panicked. They are like, wow, that was really good. I was like, thanks. Uh, please don't make me do it again. Can I make this? Oh, thank God, I can. Oh, gosh. Bale says it's absolutely something you need to play to understand. I believe it. It was the same reason for Kingdom Hearts. Because, granted, I didn't play Kingdom Hearts when it first started. But, again, a friend was like, you should play Kingdom Hearts. Give it a shot. Despite me hearing again the horror stories of the story, I was like, yeah, it can't be that bad. Oh, well, not going for that yet. Uh, so I'll bet money that I will eventually get into Metal Gear and do it. Heck, maybe I'll make my first times on stream. Only you could have pulled that off. Head outside and I'll fill you in on the next step. To be fair, I think the Murray could have handled it as well. Oh. I kind of have half a mind to attack a bear. You know what? Wake up! Oh, it's immediate! Oh, damn it! I thought it would chase me! Oh, that, I didn't put it. Oh. I have to start the whole thing over! Oh, I just want to make it as a bit! Oh. That's what I get, too. That's what I get. I didn't think it would automatically fail me. Uh, you ever had uh, defeat and stole it from the jaws of victory, folks? That's exactly what happened to me because I got stupidly cocky. Well, luckily I could just redo this really quickly. But yeah, uh, I can kind of do an okay snake. I actually had a thought to want to dress up a snake for Halloween this year. But unfortunately, I don't have, uh, for lack of a better term, the assets to pull off a good snake. So I had half a mind to get a friend of mine who, well, he doesn't either, but he's like a lot more like gruff looking than me, so he could pull it off and he has a costume. So we had half a mind of being like, okay, I'll just be behind you. So you talk and you just like open your mouth and lip sync and I'll do the snake impression for you. It was just dumb ideas. Can't believe I failed this. Ugh, I didn't think it. Uh, don't be like me, people. Don't be like me. It's not worth being cocky. 
Open up, please. Come on, wake up. Open up! Oh, man, I'm tired of these things. Freaking Disney country bear looking things. Might be able to do Otacon then? Oh, yeah, yeah, I might be able to. I, I always thought that I'd probably be more of an Otacon than a, uh, than a snake. I'm not nearly cool enough to pull him off, but I like to think that if I were to be a Metal Gear character, it would definitely be Otacon. Then again, I don't really know many other... Alright, I'm not gonna be stupid this time. Let's just get out of here. Did they would instant fail me. I don't really know enough Metal Gear characters to, like, pretend. There was one other thing that got me into Metal Gear, though. Well, that might potentially be spoilers. I know at least that reference, so I'll keep it to myself. Seems easy enough. Once and it's not. Position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. Oh, I gotta get up there, huh? Okay. No worries. Seriously, why can I not figure out where this last damn clue bottle is? I think I've ran through this place like black and blue so many times. Oh, I need to go to six different positions. Couldn't hear one damn smidge of a jingle. And well, there's one. Where's the next ones? Any closer ones? Oh, back over there. Alright. Uh, the video in this game actually isn't half bad for the time. Uh, we talk about Metal Gear, we talk about Sly. Because Metal Gear, I don't think it's bad either. I mean, David Hayter, right? He's the one that, uh, does the voices for, uh, Snake. Where are you back? Go away. Ow! I forgot you come back. Bring it. Ugh! That's worth it just to show off on you. All right, where's the next one? Uh, Bayo says this sly. Metal Gear's age extremely well too, though. I think so as well. Like I see clips every now and then of Metal Gear. Usually when I see people doing like various different comic dubs and references, and I like to think that Metal Gear has been pretty good when it comes to its voice work, even if its story is uh confusing. But yeah, I already lamented about like my praise for this game's voice work when it comes to Sly. Looking forward to more when I get into Sly 3. And Sly 4. Remember, viewers, I am planning on doing a marathon. We were only on Sly 2. But there's still two more games to go through with this. Oh, after Sly, I have no clue what I'm going to do. Is someone still kicking? Apparently, I'm still engaged in combat. Oh, I don't know. Where's the next one? There? How do I get up there? Is there a way up here from here? How do I get up here? No thing for me to vault on. Hmm. I don't know how to get up here. Oh, well, gotta figure that out. Uh oh, ooh, not going that way. Oh wait, there was one over there I missed? Oh, I skipped quite a lot. Ugh, I'm terrible. Or is it? Oh, it's up there too? Gosh, I'm so bad. How am I ignoring these things? Alright, well, we can focus. We can focus. There's just one other reason I really want to play uh, Metal Gear. Like, actually get into Metal Gear. The one thing I know for sure. I won't spoil in case someone, like, well, I can't really because I don't know if it is fully spoilers or not. But I want to hear the song Snake Eater. I really like that song. You have no choice but to hear it. Almost brings a tear to my eye when I think about how much wilderness you all obtained. Keep up with those work fellers. Not long till we can start putting up those track homes. Yeah. I just had to listen. I I, I should have ignored it, but I just had to listen for some reason. 
Get him. Get him, bear. I, I really forgot what I was, what rant I was going to go on. Ugh, hold on. Let me get some loot real quick. But yeah, I remember. I want to listen to the Snake Eater, like the main theme of it. Bom, 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 bom. I hear so many covers of people singing that song, it's ridiculous. Whoops, mess that up, Pierce. You're still kicking? Go back on her. Oh, I hear a lot of noise. Oh, nope, I see uh, the bear just making mincemeat of things. Wow, you really, uh that thing, huh? Calm down, will ya? I'm not, I'm not fighting you. I got, I got better things to do. Go away. One, two, and three. God, this bear, go away! It loves me. Anywho, Bale says Snake Eater isn't really a spoiler. You see the opening play once the virtuous mission is done. So right at the start, basically. All right, cool. Like, I didn't know if it was. I got nervous. And even as I said it, I was like, ooh, I hope I didn't spoil it for some people. And I didn't watch it. Oops. Nope, gonna handle that a little better. I didn't really watch, like... Oh, wait. Too many of you guys. Ow! Nice. I didn't, like I said, know much of Snake Ear, so I didn't know if I was comfortably able to, like, say it without worry. Thank you. Beep. Okay, two more. That one and that one. Now, how do I get to this one up here is the question. I know one of them is at Jean Basson's house, but how do I get to this one? Can I climb up here and then glide down? I think I can, maybe. I know, that quits the mission. I'm not going to do that. How do I get up there? That's the one mission, uh, mission worry I have. Wait. There's nothing to vault onto. Wait. There is something to vault onto. Yeah, I forgot about this. I totally forgot I had these, these cane hook things. Man, that would have made my life so much easier. Uh, Bale says they also used it during the trailer for Delta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the trailer for Delta. Uh, I thought it was, like, actually really cool. I, I, 22 was I was watching it with a friend of mine. My friend freaked out because he immediately knew what it was. Meanwhile, a person like me, I was like, okay. Cool, I guess. What? How did, how did I go here? I'm wondering, though, if I should just wait for Delta, or should I just play the old-school Metal Gears? I mean, I still do want to try it. But I don't know if it's worth uh, just playing the OG ones or just waiting for Delta. I'm curious on what remakes it is. And it would be nice because I could probably give it a fresh look. Well, I'm obviously going to give it a fresh look. And I can maybe have you viewers tell me. Be like, oh yeah, this this scene, this moment, blah, blah, blah. Again, my knowledge of Snake Eater is very poor. Like, the only thing I know about it, honestly, is the Snake Eater song and the fact that you can eat like some of the local wildlife. That is it. As, as best as I got. I, I really don't even think. I know how I said I don't. I was wondering if I did. I honestly don't even think I even beat Snake here. I was like really young at the time. Wasn't even allowed to play it, funny enough. Okay, from this, I can go up to John Bassan's house. I can't find it this episode, if you uh, folks, those who are paying more attention to the clue ball thing, then I will definitely for sure try to find it next episode. Uh, Bale says, I knew it was Metal Gear pretty quickly, but I didn't know it was Metal Gear Solid 3. I didn't know what it was, period. So you still knew more than me, knew more than me until the very end. There we go. Beep. That's all six. Nice work. The array's up and running. I think we called that a successful job. I can't get up there. Well, uh, the only other mission is Murray's. Still can't not find this thing. I was hoping 
as I ran around this place for like the umpteenth time. Unless it's up there, uh, it won't be. Unless it's somewhere I missed, then I don't know. And unfortunately, I realize I'm definitely at the two hour mark, which means I don't have a choice but to end it. So I am gonna get to the hideout, but I promise you this, viewers. All right, thanks for grabbing on there. I promise you this, viewers. Uh, I am gonna try and find this thing next episode. But I think we could call it here because we did do quite a lot. We did manage to beat, uh, what was it, episode seven that we did? Now we're on episode eight. We're already in like the 70s percent of this game, so there's not much left. Uh, Bale says, I was doubting if it was until I saw Snake, but I knew it. Well, I didn't know what it was at first. Like, my friend just put on the trailer and I came into the room, so I didn't even like, because you know how usually when you look up a trailer, it like shows the title? Like, Usually what I do is I'll usually put on random video game trailers or I'll have my friends put on something so I can go like completely as blind as I can. Because I feel like if you look up like what the trailer is, like if you look up Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta, then you're going to know it's Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta. Uh oh. When I came into the room, whoa, no, not again. Uh, when I came into the room, I was like, oh, what is this? And I saw like all this forest and stuff. Get in the, get in the trap. Oh, thought you would die from that. All these forests and this crocodile and all this stuff. And I was like, wow, this is kind of cool looking. But then finding out it was freaking Snake who just comes out of nowhere. Just standing there. Someone text me? Oh. Whoa. Freaking rats with wings. Oh, wait. Oh, great. Not again. Uh, let me in. Okay. Okay. Let's just take a sec. Whew. Actually, do I have enough to get Murray's? I do have enough to get Murray's Guttural War. You kind of want to see what this ability is real quick before I end the episode. What does Girdle Roar do? He really doesn't have many skills, huh? Uh, let's see. What do we want to do it to? Um, this terrify your foes. <laughs> this doesn't really work, right? All right, let's try it. Huh. It kind of works. Sort of. <laughs> Looks like Murray. Looks like the Murray is the big man on campus. It. We're not on a canvas, Murray. Now, anywho, this is truly where the end of the episode is. I have no clue where this last clue ball is. I try to find it, unless it's over here. Can't help it. <laughs> Here, let's go see the horizon together. Look at it. Beautiful. Majestic. I know you want a closer view, so here. You can swim, right? Oh, no, you just die. Well, on that note, thank you all for tuning in for this episode, for real. Uh, I don't know where this last clue ball is. I refuse to look it up. So I guess next episode, we'll probably just run around aimlessly, hoping for the best I can find it. But yeah, we got Murray's mission to do, and then probably more Bentley stuff, because I'm assuming we're going to have Bentley to help out at the end of this. RC Combat Club, though, huh? Hmm. Don't know how that's going to be. But yeah, we did a lot this episode. We took down... Well, took down. We were able to get, I guess, the clockwork lungs as well as the stomach. Ugh. Now we gotta work on the clockwork talons. Now, oh, there's where the mammoth is. Oh, yeah, he did kind of get frozen again. Wow, this water is no joke cold, I guess. Ugh. I'd hate to be that guy. Sorry, Manny. Hang on. I'll get you a friend. Here you go. Hmm. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. But yeah, on the next episode, we'll go uh, handle more of these missions. So, thank you all for tuning in this one. Uh, really upset I couldn't find this last clue bottle. But hopefully we'll find it. Actually, we can get Snake. Hey, Snake, can you uh, do the closing thing? No. Alright, well, then I'll do it myself. I'll see you all. In the next episode. I think you talk a little too close to the mic. How's about this? Uh, it's not, uh, you need to get a little closer to the mic. Like this? No, a little bit further. You're, you're, you're too loud. Whatever. Eh, close enough.
I'll see you all in the next episode.